Hi folks, we're sharing the Word of God today in the Bible. In Psalm 51. In Psalm 51, it says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitudes of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. So he's crying out, blot out my transgressions. He's asking God to blot out his transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou might be justified. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou might be justified when thou can't read. <laughs> When thou speakest and be clear, when thou judged. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. Thou desirest truth in the inward parts. Forgive me, purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me. And I shall be whiter than snow. He says, wash me. And I shall be whiter than snow. In other words, he's talking about the grace of God. That the grace of God can wash our sin. That the grace of God can bring forgiveness and mercy today. That the grace of God can bring forgiveness. He says, wash me whiter than snow. And when Christ died on that cross, and he shed his blood on that cross, and he gave his life on that cross, it meant no matter what you have done wrong, however you have lived, he can wash you as white as snow. He can wipe the slate clean. And he can make you anew by his blood. By the blood of Jesus Christ. That blood shed on that cross, shed for you and me, shed that you and I might live in the forgiveness of his grace, in the forgiveness of his love. Wash me whiter than snow. Whiter than snow. That we can be forgiven today by that blood. For well, he died on that cross and shed his blood on that cross as a savior today. Jesus says, I give my life a ransom for many. When he died on that cross, he was a ransom and paid the debt for all the things that I have done wrong. And he paid the debt for all the things that you did wrong. That's why he shed his blood on that cross. That's why he gave his life on that cross. He shed his blood. He shed his blood on that cross. And he says, wash you whiter than snow. That he can wash us. In other words, he can forgive us of all the mistakes that we have made. And he did that by dying on a cross. He did that by dying in your place. 
He did that by shedding his blood and dying in your place and giving his life as a ransom and shed that blood. Whoever you are today, no matter how much you have failed and made mistakes, you can be forgiven today. I met a lady a few weeks ago who was drunk and she said, I've done so bad I could never be forgiven. She can be forgiven and we all can be forgiven because of the cross. Because he paid that debt. No matter what mistakes you have made. No matter what mistakes you have made. You, you can be forgiven today. Yes. By the blood of Jesus. By remembering that blood was shed for you. Remember that blood was shed for you on that cross. And he laid down his life for you on that cross. He is the Son of God. Who is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And when he died on that cross, he had a crown of thorns on his head. And he was nailed to that cross. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. He was nailed to that cross. And as he died on that cross, he died as the Son of God. And laid down his life on that cross for you and me. And there he was broken on that cross. Broken with a judgment upon him. And he died. And as he died, he died for you. And suffered for you on that cross. And gave up his life for you on that cross. And shed his holy blood for you on that cross. And he stayed on that cross for you. And love kept him on the cross. A love that is very deep. So deep and so great. He kept on the cross. Have you ever lied? Stolen? Done wrong? Committed adultery? Anything? Anything where you have made a mistake. The blood was paid. The blood paid your debt. You'll never know how much he suffered. But oh how he suffered on that cross. He suffered that you may be restored. And he suffered that you may be forgiven. He suffered that you may be a child of God. He suffered that you may have hope. He suffered on that cross. And was broken on that cross. That you could be forgiven today. And you could be cleansed. All at the cross. But we have to repent. And say Lord sorry. Turn away and believe that he died on that cross. My friend, that is the gospel. That is the gospel. It is a gospel of hope. It is a gospel of peace. It is a gospel of good news. And it is a gospel that gives you hope today. If you will trust Him as your Lord and Savior. God bless you.